I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stay standing while we remember those who have passed since our last meeting. Clark Bob Jones. Deaconess Vernell Crawley. Verdella A. Smith. Elizabeth Betty Caruso. Christoph Stanzuk. Okay. Wait for until ten after, correct? Yeah. Right. So we'll start with for that. Yes. <coughs> Correspondence. Roll call. Roll call. Mr. Briggs? Present. Paul? Here. Roger? Here. Cassidy? Here. And here. Fire exits are noted behind right here. Don't use the elevator if there's a problem in the building. Correspondence? None. Concer Attorney concerns? Uh, none that we haven't already discussed. Thank you. Petitioners? On Zoom or at okay. any petitioners want to make a comment that are on Zoom? I hear none. Okay. Um, Town board approved the attached. Uh, there's no budget lines. No. Town board to approve the bills as ordered. We have three signatures. Correct. Yep. Correct. <clears throat> Move it. Second. TJ makes a motion. Roger seconds it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Our motion's carried. Town board to accept the minutes of October 4th, workshop budget meeting. I'll make it. Paul makes the motion. Second. Well, we've got the second page of all the other. Yeah, much too off. Oh, you're going to do the, the batch? Yeah. All right, eight. so I'm going to uh, move. move. I'll move three through eight. All right, three through eight. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The is, all those motions are carried. Three through eight. Town board to approve the supervisor to execute a one-year extension for the contract DOC 01 C176 462-3250264 sewer wastewater treatment for Eastern Correctional and Ulster Correctional Facilities. The new contract expiration date will be 12-31-22. I'll move it. Second. Cassie makes a motion. Roger seconds it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion's carried. Town Board to authorize the supervisor to execute the agreement between the Town of Awarsing and Humane Society of Middletown, Inc., to accept any dog brought to the shelter by our dog control officer, Jill Schulfeld. Space permitting. The term of this contract will be from January 1st, 2022 and ending December 31st, 2022. I'll make it. Paul makes that motion. Second. Roger seconds it. All in favor? Aye. 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 That motion is carried. Town Board to authorize the supervisor to execute an agreement between the Town of Awarsing and Lift Tech for the 2022 third, uh, 2022 third party witnessing proposal. The scope of the work performed will include and be limited to an annual elevator inspection. The cost for the service is $425. I'll move it. I'll second uh, it. Okay, so Cassie makes the motion. Paul seconds it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion is carried. Town Board to authorize the supervisor to execute the collective bargaining agreement by and in between the Town of Awarsing and Council 66, American Federation, State, County, and Municipal Employees. This agreement will be effective January 1st, 2021 through December 31st, 2023. Motion. Paul makes a motion. TJ did. I did. TJ makes a motion and Paul seconds it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion is carried. Town Board authorized the supervisor to execute the termination of conservation easement with Topos Development LLC and any ancillary documents necessary for the filing in the Ulster County Clerk's Office. Move it. CJ makes, makes the motion. Roger seconds it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion is carried. Town Board authorized the supervisor to execute the conservation easement with South Hill Owner LLC and any ancillary documents necessary for filing in the Ulster County clerk's office. I'll move it. 
CJ makes the motion. Second. So Paul makes a uh, second. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion's carried. 15. Town board authorized the town clerk to advertise for road material, sand, bank, gravel. Item four, crusher run for the town highway department. These bids are returnable December 2nd, 2021 at 12 o'clock noon in the town clerk's office. Move it. TJ makes the Second. motion. Roger seconds it. This is something that we do every year at this meeting. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion's carried. Town board to approve the invoice 11297 in the amount of $139,327 to H. Ulster Howd Excavating, Inc. for the Highway Department Salt Shed. Move it. Second. TJ makes the motion. Paul seconds it. All in favor? Aye. 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 That motion is carried. Town board to approve the payment application number seven in the amount of $446,405.73 to H. Ulster Howd Excavating. Inc. for the Warsing Water District, Route 209 Water Distribution, Mains. I move it. I'll That's second it. Motion. Paul seconds it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion is carried. Down board to approve payment application number seven in the amount of $2,850.58 to Bellamy Construction, Inc. for the Warsing Water District, 209, Route 209 Transmission Line, Phase 1. I move it. Second. Cassie makes a motion. Roger seconds it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion's carried. <clears throat> Town board to approve payment application number two in the amount of $299,627.40 to TAM Enterprises, Inc. for the Warsing Water District, Water Treatment Facility, and Wellfield. I move it. Second. Cassie makes a motion. Paul seconds it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion's carried. Town Board to approve payment application number three for National Water Main Cleaning Company, NWMCC, CDBG Grant 1215 PR 158-19 contract TWA 211, improvements to the Kerhonson Wastewater Collection System in the amount of $102,721.19. I'll move it. Second. Cassie makes a motion. Paul seconds it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Town Board to accept the resignation of Ramona Steckler, account clerk in the accounting department. Her resignation is effective as of October 29th, 2021. Move it. Second. With uh, regret, and we congratulate her and thank her for her service. Yes. TJ makes the motion, and Paul seconds it. And yes, we'll discuss this a little bit later, but <laughs> Aye. we wish her well. Wish All her in well. favor? Aye. 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 Motions carried. Town Board to approve the payment of 22 hours of remaining vacation hours credited to Ramona Stegler for the calendar year of 2021 as of January 1st, 2021. Her hourly rate of pay was $24.16, totaling an amount of $531.52. Move it. Second. PJ makes a motion. Roger seconds it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motions carried. Um, Highway Just so I want to congratulate all the winners uh, of election from Tuesday and uh, those folks that didn't win. Uh, you know, some Roger you know, served on the board. Uh, it's not as easy as it looks and it's great to see people get involved and be a part. It's um, it's not as easy as it looks. So, uh, and I want to thank the public for coming out and voting because that's important. Um, if if you don't, you know, it's your one opportunity to have a say in what really goes on. So, help you. I will just. Echo what he just said and congratulate all the winners, including Mr. Briggs, who won't be on this board any longer, but he moves to the village. Something we're looking forward to. Um, this past weekend, I attended a, an event at Libman Park that was honoring first responders. Um, it was quite an event. A lot of people attended. There were fire trucks, helicopter, uh, sheriff department, ambulance. 
uh, I think sometimes people take for granted what all these volunteers, and most of them are volunteers, what they do for us, and we're very lucky to have them all, and we thank them for the service, whether they're volunteers or paid, but it was quite a nice turnout. I just want to remind people that all our restrooms at Lippin Park, speaking of the apartment, are now closed, but we do have porta potties there. But if you plan on spending an amount of time at Lippin Park, you might want to take care of business before you get there. <laughs> and that's pretty much all I have. Paul? Well, um, okay, the only. Uh, seven to nine. Okay, I'm going to go to, uh, move to open the public uh, hearing. The purpose of the public hearing is to receive the input and comments from the public regarding proposed local law number two, 2021 Water District Ordinance. TJ made the motion. And Second. Yeah, we're going to close it. And it's open. Any comments? Or you can extend it one more and we'll I'll bring a resolution to the next mm -hmm. meeting, but if you want to keep it open in case somebody has a comment. You're, you keep it open and then have your resolution. Yeah, I don't think we've any comments okay. Okay. or against. Nope. So we'll close it next meeting and then vote on it? Yeah. yeah. I'll move to continue then the uh, public hearing through uh, About 7, 10 uh, at the December. Next <clears throat> December 18th. December. No, November. No, November. November 18th. November 18th. November 18th. Right. November, 18th. Right. Uh, November 18th. Uh, no, we have one at 7.05 and we have one at 7.15, so we can do 7.10 again. How's okay. that? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Do you need to vote on that? TJ made the motion and second. Roger seconds it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion's carried. Now you're Now you're Now you're <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, again, just to kind of echo what uh, everyone has said, uh, thanks everyone for getting out and voting. Um, Going to miss Roger on the board, uh, TJ. We look forward to working with you on the village board and, and making things uh, a little bit better between the town and the village in the future. I guess the one thing that I'd like to uh, ask everyone to have a save the date, uh, December seventeenth. Uh, we're going to have a, a blood drive at the parish hall, of St. Mary and St. Andrew, actually in conjunction with Ellenville Regional Hospital. I want to thank TJ's wife for. Uh, helping support that. Uh, there's a severe blood shortage again, like there's been for, for quite a while. So uh, we've teamed up with Ellenville Regional Hospital. We've got a lot of space, open, a lot of big open space at the church hall. So it's, it's people can separate, feel comfortable, hopefully, and, and donate a pint of blood. It's going to be December 17th uh, from 1 until 7 p.m. And I hope to uh, get a lot of arms there to uh, make it a nice, successful blood drive. And that's all I've got for today. Um, I have a couple things. Uh, the first thing I wanted is a like a public service announcement. I know the containers say flushable wipes. They're not flushable. And when you flush them, they do not shred like toilet paper. They stretch and they caught in the sewer pumps and burn out the bearings or seize the motor of the pump and we have to replace them. We need to stop doing that. So please do not flush flushable wipes in your toilet. Furthermore, if you're prone to throwing grease down your toilet or down your sink, don't do that either because that messes everything up as well. The water and sewer guys are working really hard to keep water and sewer where it belongs. And when we break pumps and we have to replace them, it trickles down to you and taxpayers are going to pay for these replaced pumps and the cost of cleaning out the lines when they're full of grease. That's part of what we just paid with national water. We had to pay them extra to do that because it got clogged with grease and flushable wipes. So let's be good consumers of municipal services, please. Tessa, now, how often do they have to clean these pumps out? Well, I'll tell you, in this month, we have replaced three pumps in on the Carlo, Carlo Drive area and we have rebuilt two there. And that's just the last 30 days. So it's not really a once in a while, it's kind of almost an every weekly or every yeah, two weeks. Yeah. It's what, 1500 to $2,000 yeah, every time, time would... Each time we have to replace a pump there. So I'm really asking the public to be good stewards of the municipal services that you're, that you're purchasing, because otherwise your taxes are going to have to go up to pay for the pump's replacements. 
On a brighter note though, we have the winners to announce for the contest, the autumn decoration contest. Um, first place is Five Elm Street, the Bud family. Second place was 11 Lincoln Street, the Hamill family. And third place was the Hull family at 7, 7278 Route 209, Lot 22 in Wawarsing. Congratulations to all the winners. If you reach out to Sam, you'll be able to come and get your prizes. Um, and we'll be making an announcement soon for the Christmas or Lighting Up Wawarsing uh, contest that's coming up. So look for that announcement very soon. And that's all I have for today. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd like to reiterate what Roger said. We were down at the park a couple weeks ago for the, uh, it was a first responders uh, suicide uh, walk. Uh, and there was a lot of different agencies there and uh, well attended and an important event for first responders and the suicide rate in the country uh, regarding first responders. Uh, that was at Lebanon Park. <clears throat> Broadband, Paul, would you like to give us any kind of update on what we're doing with uh, possible broadband? The only thing is that we're about taking some of the money from <clears throat> the American Rescue money for that. Yeah, we're actually looking at uh, the, the, the Wi-Fi project, and we, we've gotten uh, had a couple discussions with a couple companies about it. As I mentioned at the last meeting, what we're looking at is uh, starting with the parks in the town, uh, Berm Road Park, and also Lippman Park, and then we hope to expand it to other areas as well. So we're in process. We've gotten. Some pricing information, we're talking to two companies, need to talk to a third one, uh, but we're hope, very hopeful that we're going to be able to, you know, move forward with that shortly with the parks. The highway guys have been putting pipe up in Oak Ridge Road, doing a good job of that. We have another budget meeting on November, November 9th and 10th, but if need be, the 10th. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Right. <coughs> or here. We're both. So Veterans Day is obviously November 11th. Town offices are closed, including the transfer station. November 25th and 26th, town will close in observance of Thanksgiving. There's update. There's <clears throat> November 8th. There's a historical preservation commission meeting, 5:30 at the Village Hall. November 19th, the zoning board meeting, 7 o'clock in the courtroom. Correct? November 9th. Did I say November 9th? You said 19th. Okay. <coughs> November 9th is the zoning board meeting. November 16th is the planning board meeting, 7 p.m. in the courtroom. This is December. November 18th, town board meeting, which is our meeting in two weeks. So I just kind of like to make a uh, motion to close the meeting. So, second. TJ makes a motion. Cassie seconds it. All in favor? Aye. 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 So what I was saying is